everyone. It's Miranda Hodge here from the Cherish Mum Space. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. Okay, so here at the Cherish Mum Space, what I do is I help parents and educators with emotions, behavior, and child and adult well-being. Now, one of the things I've got for you today is emotional intelligence activities. I've got a downloadable book for you guys available on my Etsy stop and shop and I'm just going to be sharing with you what is actually in it. Most parents don't know how to do it or many parents really really struggle to go you know what how do I even teach that? I don't even know what to say I don't know where to start. All right so that's why I've created this ebook okay it's printables everything like that I'm going to share that with you anyway now so you can have a little look about what it is okay here we go so basically it's called emotion activities for preschoolers it's five activities to do with your child to build their emotional intelligence and just start off on helping them learn to manage their emotions now if you are an educator this would be really really useful in a room in a space where kids are allowed to use scissors and glue okay because this is not an activity based it's activities but this is not a um stand on your feet and let's play a game sort of activity a lot of the ones on youtube are those which are also extremely helpful but sometimes it's just helpful to kids to sit down and start doing some cutting and pasting start having a little bit of a look all right so here we go we skim past some of this stuff um we've got here why emotion activities are important which i've just shared okay some of these are actually what do you need you can use a picture on the next page which one of these does it feel like? There's some questions to ask there. Which one of these do you feel like when you are, when your tower gets knocked over? Which one of these do you feel like when, you know, any of that stuff's going on, okay? There's a bit of a description about each of the emotions there. You might like to print that out and actually um, laminate it and put it on your wall. There's a bit of, there's a few words there, but it's intended for the parent or educator to be able to talk to the child over and over repeatedly, over, you know, consistently over a long period of time about, their emotions and how to actually feel them in their body. Okay, so activity two, I'm not going through all of these. Okay, the one that I really, really wanted to share with you guys was this one. I love this one. Uh, activity three, you need to basically make four faces with different emotions on them. Okay, so this helps your child or the child if they're in your um, educating space, helps them practice fine motor skills, improve dexterity, learn more about emotions at the same time. Okay, have a little bit of creativity. Um, mixed in there we all know that preschoolers love that sort of stuff okay don't forget to tag me up up there um, basically you cut you print this out and you cut and paste and you stick it do it however you want to do it all right that's pretty much I'm not going to go through every single um every single activity in there because obviously that's what you'll be doing if you're looking in the book but basically if you're interested in grabbing that ebook it is very affordable and it's going to be able to you can print it off as many times as you want you know you grab it once and print it off as many times as you want if you're interested in that then please 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 jump onto my etsy shop it is in the link in this description of this video emotion activities for preschoolers are so so important what do we need why do we need why do our kids need emotional intelligence now this is something I talk about a lot on my channel, a lot on my blog. If you look up cherishmomspace.com, thecherishmomspace.com, I talk a lot about emotional intelligence. Why is it so important? The first reason is because if you do not have emotional intelligence, then it is hard to interact with other people. It is hard to interact well with other people because you can't understand their emotional their emotions and they can't understand your emotions very well. And also you can't understand your own emotion. So if you don't have that, it's very, very hard to get that sort of um, back and forth relationship happening with other people. And if there were no other reasons in the world, that would be a big enough one, right? We all want our kids to be able to have that um, enough emotional intelligence to have happy, healthy, fulfilled relationships with other people. All of that expands into business. It expands into their, you know, their marriages when they get older. It expands into their own parenting. So many different ways it expands into just as much as schoolyards, daycares, kindergartens, all playgroups, all of the areas. You want your kids to be building emotional intelligence. The second thing is that most parents don't know how to do it. Or many parents really, really struggle to go, you know what, how do I even teach that? I don't even know what to say. I don't know where to start. All right, so that's why I've created this ebook. 
All right. Last but not least, if you're a parent who would like to book a call with me, if you don't know what you're doing with your small child, if you feel overwhelmed by their behavior or overwhelmed by their emotions, I would really, really love to be able to talk to you about that. I have a free call link in the um, description as well. It's also on the banner of my YouTube channel, but there's a 15 minute free call if you want to jump on and just find out if working with a coach would be helpful. Maybe it would be for you. Maybe it wouldn't be. No obligation. All right. But if you're interested, jump onto that call. Any other questions, have a look around my channel. Join my Facebook group, Confident Authentic Mamas. Check it all out. Okay. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. I'm Miranda from the Cherish Mum Space and I'll catch you later. Bye.